nice driving text. Good morning, Crossout Nerds. Today we are going to talk about one of the most versatile cabs that you can get in Crossout. We're going to talk about the Wyvern cab. Alright, it's uh, it's kind of like a middle to small size cab. Let's, let's get in there and let's take a peek at its stats. So engine speed is pretty solid. Max speed, it's up there a little bit more than some of the others. Power, it's a little less than uh, like the jawbreaker or the trucker cab coming in at 10 points and it's got a little bit less structure but one of the things you're going to notice about this cab is it's tiny there it is right here in the middle and you cannot mount anything to the top of it which is a bit of a bummer so when you're dealing with the wyvern cab when you're doing builds with this thing you're going to want to do builds with your wyvern in the middle and all your hardware around the side because what you're going to want to just get armor all the way around this thing i mean think of it uh, like a donut but you want to put your wyvern cab in the middle of that donut um that was a terrible analogy so let's take a peek at what i did for this one so for this build i actually started with a chassis uh that was a little bit of an h shape here and that way whoop, I was able to uh, sneak a lot of my stuff like my fuel tank, radio, radar, fuel plus tank. And then on this particular build I was using equalizer miniguns which are great with, uh, with the wyvern but you could also use vectors, those would work great. So with this like H crossbar chassis here I was able to put a whole pile of stuff, uh, not directly under the cab, mostly under the cab, that way I was able to put things in front and in the back with this one. That way I could still mount the cab to the middle. If I had a thinner chassis piece that was even more narrow that would fit here, I would have used it. So let's rewind that and take a peek there. Put it all back together. Engine going in there. Yeah, you could do some really fast builds. Now this one you're gonna notice it's coming right up on the mass limits here. I'm really close to hitting 9,000. Uh, the engine there lets me get a little bit higher of a mass limit and these big you know dually twin wheels help raise our mass limit as well so this is a little bit of a heavier um wyvern build we could uh, go ahead and make a little bit of a lighter and a uh, faster one if we wanted to try that out because it does go fairly fast so let's let's do that now just for kicks all right I'm ditch this one delete that's right Disassemble this whole thing. All right, what are we gonna do? Let's make a lower level build here with the wyvern and just see what we can come up with. Yeah, I got really lucky. I got this from a veteran, a blue crate, um, back in the day before they were just like two hour items. Hopefully that's not permanent because I hate that and that's awful. So we're gonna keep this one smaller. We're just gonna put like two vectors on it and uh, see if we can get some decent speed on this cab. So there it is, there's the Wyvern. 4,000, 8,000, and 10 points. Whereas the trucker is like doubled all of that and one more energy. And also has like double the structure. So we have only got 120. Jawbreaker, also more structure, more mass, more power. But the only thing that I've got that has more speed than the Wyvern is, is the Growl. But that thing is teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, Fury, eh, that one's kind of in, the, in between these two. All right, back to the Wyvern. Let's stick this on here. Let's get it in the center. Let's get, of course, the things that we have to have on this build. Things that we need on every build, which is, you know, fuel tanks here. Because we've got to go, we got to make the monies. we got to get that. I'm gonna get the old fuel. All right, um, you know we might need a little longer chassis here in the rear. Oh, we can. Let's see, if we can fit in the front. Let's see if we can keep this particular build teeny tiny. We're gonna try anyway, and we'll get some radar on this one. As you do, I need the energy. Sure, I do. Put the old cab back on. As close to the center as we can get. We'll get we'll get the wheels. Don't worry, we'll get the wheels. This is how I do most builds. It's just chassis and then 
get all this stuff under the cab that you can get like literally just cram as much stuff back there as you can then throw on wheels which we're gonna do next always oh, radar easy well, not radar radio easy to stick under there if I could turn it okay we get a little extra room there which you know I don't love can we fit some more chassis in front of this let's see let us go sideways. No, that radar thing is weird that it it's like longer than it feels like it takes up more space than it should. Like I should be able to just oh, look at that. That's gonna work for us. Maybe we can even put one more uh, small frame bit. Yeah, why not? We'll see how we come on getting towards the parts limit here. Alright, let's do a smaller wheels on this one. So if we'll see if we can get six. So steering in front, static in the middle, and then steering in the rear. So we're gonna go lower power score on this one. Get the you know, twin wheels that steer in the rear. I really love the twin wheels. They've just, you know, decent amount of structure. They make your build really stable, keep you from wiping out. So I'm gonna do another set of racing wheels there. See if we can cramp on some more engine action. We're going to use an easier engine, a little lower power score one. Um, well, is that going to give us a bonus to engine speed? Yeah. We'll put the old light engine on. If you don't have the light engine, uh, it's great for just about everything. And since we're going to do just a handful of vectors on this build, we want, you know, we're going to want a couple weapon coolers on this thing. And do we have room? We fit one improved radiator on it. If you haven't built any of this stuff, like improved radiator, just the blue ones, I highly suggest getting to it. So how are we doing on power? We have seven power left. Vectors are going to need six. So we've got one extra power. All right, maybe we can do two vectors, and we'll stick an auger on the front. So let's go ahead and slap some armor on this thing and try and keep it somewhat light but at the same time armored up enough to be of use so these avia parts these panels they weigh less than some of the heavier duty stuff which is nice when you know you don't want <laughs> your build to be really slow we're gonna want this to be fast we're gonna be driving around fast with this thing hopefully blowing up baddies with our vectors be hitting somebody with the auger Bing, bang, boom. Let's get a heavy nose piece on this thing. This thing's a little heavy, the plow, but uh, she gets the job done. Oh, man, we were going to do an auger, weren't we? Yeah, we'll come back to that. You know what we might just do? Just because I feel like doing this instead. Oh, <laughs> not a huge fan of the auger. We're going to throw, if we have room, one more weapon cooler. Just so that we get even that much more cooling on this thing. Okay, we're going to move all this business around. Weapon cooler back there. You know what we're going to do? We're going to turn both these sideways. We're going to stick that radiator. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, I'm trying not to use any purples on this one. We're just doing a blue, blue build here. And you know what we're going to do is we're going to drop these down and we're going to move that whole cab back to get a little bit more protection for these guys. I know they're in the red here. We're going to sort that in a second. And almost made it, guys. Must have magic touch. Okay. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah, we'll see what that does to our center of gravity here. And... Scoochie, scoochie. All these parts back a little. There we go. We might just ditch. Yep, ditch that extra chassis piece. If we don't need it, don't use it. You know, you're going to waste weight and your part limit. I'm always coming up on that 55 part limit in a hurry. So if we don't need parts, less is more sometimes with cross out guys. Let's is more. All right, now we're going to armor all of our hardware that's just sticking out the back of this thing ridiculously. Um, <laughs> let's 
throw some chassis pieces there so we can get a little bit more. Oh, we only have one 2x4. Well, we'll just skip that then. See what we can do in the old armor department. All right, these ones are a little heavier than I like to use on the wyvern, the wyvern cab, but they've got more structure and they're a really good size of parts. Put. Okay. Now we've got to get some armor on the side of this beast. Well, let's use some of our cheaper, lighter bits. The junkier ones. Yeah, you guys all have these minivan sideboards. One of the first pieces you're going to get light. Don't give you a ton of structure, but they do take up a fair bit of space, which is nice. I'm going to layer a couple of those on here. Well, where's the other one hiding? It's early. I'm still drinking my coffee here. Still waking up. All right. Bang, bang, boom. There we go. God, I hate flipping parts around with this thing sometimes. So much part flipping. Okay, we want a good mount for our guns. It's not going to get blown off too quickly. Let's raise them up a bit. So, alright. Let's throw on a strut so we got at least more than one part holding our guns on here so they don't get blown off too quickly and last part which you usually like to get on a little sooner uh, I don't know if I like these weapon mounts or not we're gonna just try them out for now and okay there we go we still have a fair bit of parts we can put on here let's <clears throat> excuse me guys let's see what we can do without making this thing too heavy. Alright, so we're going to use as many airplane pieces as we can, as they are lighter, less heavy than some of the other materials you're going to get, which makes sense, right? It's coming off an airplane. So we're just going to armor around the side here. Boom, boom. Throw on some vanity, armory looking. No, that's not going to fit. Let's not do that. Put on some of our vanity bits so we can get a little bit more reputation out of this deal see if we can actually armor anything with this stuff now nah, not so much we'll see don't want the exhaust pipes here blocking our blocking our guns but we could use them as a little bit of structure here protect the cab if we move them up here they do provide a little protection to our cab there and they get us you know little bit of extra whoop extra rep so we'll take it on there Boom. Oh, do I have room for some fenders here in the rear can we fit them gotta love the Torino fender it's just a nice looking piece I know it's got a bit of an overlap there with how we did our it's only held on by one I don't like that figure out another piece to stick in here. Maybe we can get one more fan door in this thing. Let's just, how many of those do I have? Oh, I got two, I mean, minivan sideboards. Let's see if we can, yes. Gives us some more weld points there. Cheap, easy parts. And help protect our cab a little more. Oh, you know, I don't even care. Well, that's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, I almost had it, almost had it, almost had it, and then I screwed it up. Okay, gotta have that symmetry, folks. And we are right at the parts limit. So let's slap some paint on this thing. And, of course, we always need to test drive our builds. Here we go. Alright, fairly speedy. Not ridiculously speedy. Yeah, we get some good speed there. Pretty stable. Maybe. Are we shooting 360 degrees, or is that spoiler going to be in our way? We might want to ditch the spoiler. I know, I'm like, it looks sort of cool, but sort of stupid, but... Okay, let's try this thing out in battle. Okay, 
Here we go. Wyvern cab. All blue parts. Well, not all blue parts, but nothing above blue. How are we going to do today? What's our power score here? What are we? 5,000. Let's go hang out with the team here. These are also running two vectors and a wyvern cab there. Similar build here with uh, Ash Bruin. Let's see what we can do. Ding! Oh, it's Mrs. G. We're gonna we're gonna pretend we didn't hear that, so we can just continue gaming a little longer. Just hit me on the Facebook Messenger. I'm like, Mrs. G, no, I'm winning. Ganging up on cars, and I overheated because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we got coolers and radiators, but still. How long can we shoot? Oh, we're right here. We're on the flag. Let's cap this business. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pleased with this build. Got no problems with it. Spoiler could probably go. Puts you in at a power score of 5,000. Which is gonna get you in those games where you're not gonna just get destroyed by those super, like, all purple part guys in the 6k plus bracket. Oh, but the whole enemy team is coming to just ruin our takes right now, aren't they? Here they come. Oh, look at this poor guy. Nice driving, Tex. We get a win out of that. And I overheated, but nobody saw that at the end. Alright, and we got some fuel. We got 15 fuel out of the deal. Because we got both of our tanks. We survived this thing in one piece. Well, guys, that is it for the Wyvern Cab and just doing a basic blue build for this thing. I hope it found it useful. If you want more builds in the future, throw us a sub, throw us a like. I'll catch you guys all later. And I just realized that part's not symmetrical. Now I'm going to have an OCD attack. Oh, my God. All right, you guys, that is it. Mr. G out.